We recently reported on the grounding of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter fleet after it was discovered that an ejection seat component was faulty. Now the F-35 has made headlines again. A spokesman for the F-35 Joint Program Office said that the Defense Contract Management Agency notified the F-35 Joint Program Office that an alloy in magnets used in the F-35 turbo machine pumps is potentially in non-compliance with Defense Federal Acquisition Regulations Supplement as the alloy was produced by the People's Republic of China. Defense contractors voluntarily shared the information with DCMA. Based on the additional information, the F-35 Joint Program Office temporarily paused the acceptance of new F-35 aircraft to ensure the F-35 program's compliance to the Defense Federal Acquisition Regulations Supplement pertaining to specialty metals. The turbo machine is part of the integrated power package, the primary component of the power and thermal management system. The IPP supplies electrical power to start the engine and supplies conditioned bleed air for cooling aircraft systems. The turbo machine integrates the functionality of an auxiliary power unit and an air cycle machine into a single piece of equipment. It provides electrical power for ground maintenance, main engine start, and emergency power. The turbo machine is manufactured by Honeywell, the same company that makes the engine with faulty O-rings that caused the CH-46 Chinook to be grounded by the U.S. Army recently. A Lockheed Martin spokesman said that Honeywell was informed by their lube pump supplier for the turbo machine that one of the suppliers had been using alloy sourced from China in their magnets. This supplier is a third-tier supplier to Lockheed Martin, and the alloy provider is fifth-tier. The Lockheed Martin spokesman also pointed out that the F-35 is made up of 300,000 parts from more than 1,700 suppliers. A similar thing happened to the V-22 during the time I was working as communications officer for that airplane at the Naval Air Systems Command. A subcontractor that manufactured the titanium tubing used in the 5,000 PSI hydraulic lines discovered that the titanium had been sourced from Russia. These sorts of issues are bound to happen because of the number of organizations that have to come together to manufacture a modern high-tech airplane. Prime contractors sometimes struggle to maintain visibility over their subcontractors, especially those in the third tier and below, like the ones responsible for allowing Chinese alloy into the F-35's turbo machine. While the length of this pause is not yet known, Lockheed Martin claimed they're still on schedule to deliver 148 to 153 F-35s this year. The company has delivered 88 this year already and continues to manufacture and flight test them without pause. More on this as the information becomes available. So if you're not already a subscriber, hit the button so you don't miss anything. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please consider using the super thanks, the heart icon below, or become a patron at patreon.com slash wardcarroll. And in the meantime, I look forward to talking to you again very soon.